my lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new welcome my name is pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what i do here we are doing another reading for you guys i know i've been getting a lot of messages on instagram for no contact readings so we're gonna dive into it for those of you guys that have no contact and perhaps you're interested or want to know what's going on with them this is the reading for you this is um read or sorry so you can see this video at any point in time take what resonates uh so i'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you can choose as you guys can see here we have uh pile number one which is with the liberty statue and my name on it yes i do appreciate what my clients bring to me whenever they are in their travels thank you rebecca by the way and second pile here we have carnelian bracelet and the third pile the magnetic one right um, so you guys can choose, uh, give yourself some time, whatever you're picking up, whatever's being drawn or pulled towards you, that's the pile that you want to go for. I will timestamp in the comments or in the description box below so that it could be easier for you guys to jump into that set. So again, we have set number one, Liberty, set number two, Carnelian, and set number three, the Magnetic Bracelet. So I'll give you guys a couple of minutes so you guys can tune into your energies and we'll go from there. All right, my lovelies, we're going to start off here with pile number one, the Liberty Statue. Let's get into it. So we are going to be pulling out three cards to represent their energy and three cards to represent your energy. Those of you guys that chose this pile. And what we have here is I feel like right now they are focused primarily on the things that they're trying to achieve or the things that they're wanting to make happen in their life. For some of them, they are massive breakthroughs that they're experiencing right now in regards to their finances or career. Um, I do feel like they still think of you. They, there's still a desire there to link up or reconnect with you. However, what holds them back could be the fear of rejection or the fear of you not being interested or perhaps that you've moved on. Uh, so there is hope here um, for some of you guys, there could be some type of reconciliation or they may be reaching out to you in the next coming month or so. Now with your energy, you have the chariot card here, the nine of pentacles and the page of swords. So what they're telling you is if you really want to embody your highest vibration at this point in time, it is important for you to take some time for yourself to reconnect with yourself to um, really embody the energy of self-love, uh, whether it's taking care of yourself health-wise or whether it's uh, focusing more on yourself and what you can do for yourself. It, it's that empowering type of energy. I feel the more, I don't want to say selfish, but I feel like the more you become more self-involved with yourself a little bit is going to really help you because it's going to help uh, really empower your energy and become much more, um, become much more in control of your life. And I feel that this is also going to be a trigger point for them. If they watch you on social media, if they're watching your every move, I feel like the more you put yourself out there, the more you're going to be like, there's a major glow up that's coming for you. That's if you get, some of you guys are already experiencing this, you feel empowered, you feel confident. And what they're saying here is if you really put yourself out there, I feel like it's going to be quicker for them to reach out to you because there is a fear here uh, that you might get away or that you might move on. Now, the now the deck here, the Oracle deck that we have is I fear that you will reject me, which is exactly the energy I felt with the Nine of Wands. I feel the reason why they haven't reached out as of yet is because there is a fear here. And mostly it is a fear of insecurity. Again, what I'm hearing is there is a major glow up. There is something that's coming towards you where you are becoming more empowered. You are vibrating from a more uh, empowered energy, more confident energy. And I feel like that could be something that to them is the trigger point where at this point, it's kind of like sink or swim. And if they see you, you know, being more confident, putting yourself out there, being more, you know, allowing others to see you more. Um, 
And I really want to say, even for those of you guys that are on the shy spectrum, I highly encourage you guys to really put yourself out there. Or if you're embarrassed or shy of like putting, you know, videos up on, on social medias and stuff like that, I feel like the more you do, the more confident you're going to be. And this is really going to help you like call your power back. And I feel that that's going to be the trigger point where they actually reach out the fear of, okay, she's putting herself out there or he's putting himself out there. There may be more opportunities or perhaps they've moved on. So I feel like this is going to really get them in their feelings and that's what's going to force them to kind of reach out. Okay. Now, the next card we have here is perception and camouflage. And I feel like camouflage is a very important message here. I feel like if you feel that this person that you are in, not in a connection with right now, um, you think that they moved on or that they, you know, are not thinking of you because maybe they haven't reached out up until now. Uh, it's quite the opposite. And I feel like they try really hard to present themselves as if it didn't affect them or it didn't really do anything to them, whether you're in their life or not. And I feel like it's a camouflage. It's just their way of kind of, you know, putting this front, this mask on um, when clearly I can see that they still have feelings for you. All right. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's go to pile number two. All right. For those of you guys that chose pile number two at the carnelian bracelet, what we have here is the wheel of fortune, the two of pentacles and the justice card. So I feel like right now they're going through major changes in their life that they're kind of being forced to acknowledge where they dropped the ball, where they effed up. Um, there is was this, you could have been dealing with someone that has a tendency of not taking any type of self-responsibility, but I feel like at this point, they're really dealing with the consequences of a lot of their actions that they've taken in the past. Um, the two of pentacles does indicate to me them struggling or having difficulty finding balance in their life because it almost feels like they ran out of luck or they feel like they are having the, you know, to deal with the consequences of karma. Um, do I see them taking any type of course of action towards you? No, I don't see that. I do see, however, that there may be some type of regret on how they treated you or the way things ended. But I, I don't see them taking responsibility to actually reach out to you or contact you or even apologize. Um, I feel like right now they're so wrapped up into like, it almost feels like everything they do is like everything they do when they try to take five steps forward, they take 10 backwards. And it's almost like what I'm hearing is why am I constantly being challenged? And perhaps this person wasn't used to that. You know, the wheel of fortune always indicates luck, you know, in the upswing, but it can also represent luck in the downside. And if this is a person that is used to getting things their way or to getting away with shit, I don't see that happening. Um, so again, it could be almost them having to deal with karma or the consequences of their behavior. Now, in regards to your energy here, the five of swords, eight of pentacles and 10 of wands, I feel like for some of you guys, you were still perhaps hopeful of trying to work things out um, or the desire to want to continue putting in the work. But at this point, it's not about ego anymore. At this point, it's kind of like the feeling of when I tell my clients, sometimes you're holding on to a relationship, not because you still love them, not because it's even comfortable at this point. Sometimes it's because you want to feel vindicated in the end. You want to feel like it was worth all the struggle and the difficulty you went through. But at this point, what spirit is telling you, it's time to put your burdens down. It's time to stop holding on to wanting to fix it because it takes two people in a relationship, not only one. So at this point, what they're telling you, it's time to put your burdens down and to create a new you know, outlook for you and you beginning, it's time for you to embrace, um, focusing on yourself and making yourself a priority. Now, the next card that I'm here that I'm seeing here with the Oracle card is you did not break me. And again, we go back to that of the karma cycle that I feel that they're going through right now. There is this feeling of, you know, perhaps you were the tipping point for them where their luck started turning around, or I should say their luck started going on the downswing. 
So, cause the feeling of regret is there, but I feel like they're still not conscious enough to be like, you know what, I'm going to take responsibility for that because I effed up in this and that. I don't see them doing that. I just feel like they're being forced to accept that this is karma. Um, but they're still attached to their ego. So that could be the reason why they feel like a bit defensive um, towards you or a feeling of like, you know, you did not rake me. Um, I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to reach out. I'm not. This is a very prideful person that you were dealing with. Um, now, the other Oracle card that I have here and is uh, settle. So I feel like the message for you here is do not settle for the bare minimum anymore. At this point, at this point in your life, you should know exactly what it is that you want and know exactly what you're willing to deal with and what you're not willing to deal with. And let this be, or this connection be a lesson, a lesson of what not to put up with anymore because, you know, you give so much of yourself in relationships or partnerships. Maybe you have a tendency of holding on a little bit longer than you should. So what they're telling you here is really try the best you can moving forward to not settle. And when I say not settle, I don't mean, you know, think of yourself in such a high, uh, su such a high way that you kind of look down on people. I'm not saying that what they're saying is, having standards or maybe perhaps raising your standards. The more you raise your standards, the more self-love you have for yourself, the more you start to attract people that are of higher value. Um, so again, if this person should reach out down the road, because again, I don't see them reaching out to you anytime soon. However, I do see that there's a possibility um, where they might try to come in or create some type of connection to see if you allow them to come back in because they're telling you not to settle. The advice here is don't allow them to think that they still have a hold of you. All right. All right. Moving on. Let's go to set number three. All right, my lovelies, for those of you guys that chose set number three, what's coming through is there is a lot of regret in this person. Um, they constantly do miss you and they're constantly thinking of you. And I'm going to go as far as saying they're constantly stalking you, whether it's on social media, uh, whether it's watching, you know, your every move or perhaps even what I'm hearing is passing by or cruising by your home. Um, so I definitely feel like their eyes are constantly on you because they know they mess up. They know that they made some type of mistake in this connection or the way they went about it. Um, there is a constant desire of wanting to reach out. And I do feel like they will be reaching out to you um, in the next coming days, perhaps even in the next coming week. Um, but what they are, what they are showing me here is that there is almost this feeling, there is regret and there is the acknowledgement of knowing that they mishandled you or perhaps they didn't appreciate you. Um but I feel like for a lot of the ones, you know, those of you guys that chose this pile, I feel like a lot of the people that you were dealing with, um, they didn't really realize or they didn't really consciously were aware that they did have feelings for you. Because there's almost this feeling of like realizing now that you're not here, now that you're not dealing with them, it's like they understand um, the value that you brought to their life. Uh, what you did for them or whether you were there for them emotionally, spiritually, or physically, um, there is an awareness, there is an acknowledgement of, you know, I went from having, you know, this amazing person that was so great to me and I just can see it. And now that they're not in my life, there is a desire of wanting to revisit, wanting to reconnect, wanting to reach out to you. They just don't know how to go about it. But I do see them um, trying to reach out to you in the next coming days, like I said, or in the next coming week. Now, in regards to your energy, you have the three of wands here with the two of wands. So to me, that's an indication of getting to the point of being ready, or perhaps for some of you guys, you've already moved on. Um, for those of you guys that are still struggling with the moving on process or the accepting that this came to an end, 
I feel like in the next coming, I want to say in the next coming month, in the month of February, there's going to be a lot of changes happening around you. For some of you guys, travel is involved. For others of you, uh, work starts to pick up or starts to get busy. For others of you, it's just opportunities that come your way that are going to open your mind up um, and bring to you new experiences where you're no longer going to be looking towards the past. For a lot of you guys, I feel like the reason why you look to the past could be because um, obviously you think of them or you miss them. Um, but I feel like it had more to do with the fact of feeling stagnant energy or like not really moving forward. Um, whereas in the next coming month, things start to pick up for you guys and you start to get busy and you start to put your energy and focus towards other things. And they are showing me here with the full card. Now is the time to really embrace new beginnings for those of you guys that chose set number three. I feel like it's almost like you're being able to see the world through different eyes. Uh, there is, for some of you guys, it could be that you're open or more open to experiences with uh, perhaps different types of people, people you've never dealt with in the past. For others of you, people that are coming into your life are going to bring to you um, a new way of thinking or a new way of seeing uh, not only relationships and partnerships, but also uh, becoming more self-aware of your worth and knowing um, exactly what it is that you want and what you're not what, what you're not willing to to deal with no more. I see you guys no longer sacrificing. I see you guys being more empowered, and I see you guys more focused on, you know, dealing with. Sorry, you guys. I see you guys more uh, dealing with the energy of, you know, this is what I'm bringing to the table. What are you bringing to the table? You get me? I see you guys more empowered, more. Uh, and it's definitely a time to embrace new beginnings. For those of you guys that chose set number three, if you're getting invited um, to different social outings, definitely take up on that because I feel you guys are really like a lot of people are going to be coming into your life uh, where they wouldn't necessarily come in if you're not more open to the spontaneity energy and embrace it. Um, so I do feel like if you've been struggling with this connection or letting go of this connection, I see you guys, your world starts to open up in the month of December for sure. Now, the Oracle card that we have here is, I know I made a mistake. This is exactly the vibe and energy that I was getting uh, when I pulled these cards out. It is definitely the, the energy of them understanding or knowing that they really made a mistake, that they really uh, dropped the ball with you when it comes to what you bring to the table, you know, what you, how much of yourself that you give of yourself to a relationship. So again, I see them really acknowledging that and understanding that they really dropped the ball, that they really effed up by letting you go or perhaps not taking care of you or of the connection. And the next card that we have here is ghost. <clears throat> again, the ghost always indicates to me um, the energy of reminiscing or reliving the past constantly. And I feel like this person is definitely on that energy. Like I said, I do see them trying to reconnect with you, trying to get closer to you or reaching out to you in the next coming, perhaps throughout the month of February. But um, I wouldn't necessarily rush into that. My advice for you guys is to definitely embrace everything that is new. And if you're not spontaneous, now is the time to really put yourself out there and be a little bit more spontaneous because in doing this, what you're going to uh, basically experience is a lot of changes and um, embracing new beginnings. Uh, so definitely good for you guys. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did share, like, comment, let me know. And I will see you guys till next time. Bye for now.